Hi friends! Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Kathy and this is Chatty Kathy Budgets. On today's episode, we are going to be doing our paycheck weekly budget for paycheck 2 of February. On this channel, we do savings challenges to pay down our debt, weekly paycheck budgets, cash envelope stuffing, and on occasion, we will do a bill condense prop swap video here and there when we have the funds to do so. If that is something you are interested in, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel, like this video, and leave me a comment down below. Okay, friends, we're gonna go ahead and get right into our budget today. So we are doing February week two. Okay, so my paycheck is $988. Hubby's paycheck is super exciting. It totally makes up for the small one he had last week. This week it was $1,023. Awesome. All right, so that gives us 988 plus 1023 gives us $2,011 total income. Okay, and we're gonna go ahead and do 900 $83 for our bills. If you are new here um, and you want to know how I come up with this number and why I only have one line for our bills, I will link my uh, budget with me, how I budget for bills video in the description box down below. So 2011 minus 983 gives us $1,028 remaining. All right, so for our wallet, hubby gets his normal $80. Groceries, uh, last week we dropped this down to 100 and we actually did really well. I did a whole lot of uh, cooking from scratch and homemade foods and everything. So I think we're gonna leave this at $100. Um, I'm pretty much trying to do a pantry challenge <clears throat> right now we have a pretty good stocked pantry and a full freezer we do purchase our beef from a local farmer so we have plenty of meat right now so we're gonna try to make the hundred work we'll see all right so gas is gonna get 60 kids are gonna get their 20 technically this is only gonna be ten dollars um, but I'm still budgeting for the 20, but Rebecca pretty much spent her $10 already. <laughs> so when we do our cash stuffing, that $10 is probably gonna just go roll into savings challenges. Um, pets, we're gonna, actually I think I'm gonna up this to $10 because ugh, she's been going through the food faster than I, I thought she would. She's, our cat's only a year old, so she is still growing, so we're gonna up that to make sure that I have enough money um, for her foods. So let's go ahead and total these up. So that equals $270. And if we take that from the 1028, leaves us $158 remaining. Okay, now we're gonna move up. our cash envelopes. These for us, it's an extension of our wallet. Um, I have said this in other videos, but I don't like to carry these around with me in my wallet because I am a spender at heart and I will spend them. So I need to make it a little bit more difficult. I do carry um, the pet money around with me because I will get that when I need it, when I'm out grocery shopping and that's not, um, a spend just to spend that's that's a need right the cat needs food so in my head I don't spend this but these I would spend 
I hope that makes sense. So we're gonna do our normal $5 for each of these. Right, so that's 25. So if we take that from the 758, it leaves $733. Okay, and then we're gonna do our funds. <clears throat> These are our small savings accounts for expenses that come up throughout the year that we can't cover in one paycheck. So we put a little bit away each paycheck so that when the expenses do come due, we have the money for them. So oil, we give $40 annual 20 quarterly 30 and guys let me know because i do tend to do the same dollar amount in these i can show you if it's something you're interested in in how i went through and was able to figure out exactly how much per paycheck we were going to need to do for each one i mean some of these are fairly easy to figure out like christmas you just take however how much you want your total divided by how many weeks until you're going to be there um but things like our annual bills birthdays and anniversaries holidays those are like come and go so you have to put a certain amount in each week but then when it's due is that enough and then for the next one are you going to have enough so just let me know in the comments below if that's a video you'd be interested in seeing um, so birthdays and anniversaries is 25, holidays is 20, school is 20, vehicles is 15, vet is 10, and Christmas is 30. So all of this adds up to $210. Okay, so take that from our 733. Oops, 210. Hold on. I don't know if I did that right. <laughs> 733 minus 210 that leaves you guys see that I think this is the most we've ever had after all of this $523 remaining to go towards our savings challenges so if you are new here we use our savings challenges to pay down our debt we are on a journey to pay off $42,000 worth of debt um, every month we do savings challenges for the whole month. At the end of the month, we pull them, we see how much we saved, and it all goes towards debt. So we're gonna slightly budget for these. We're not gonna hold ourselves to it, but we're gonna stay within this 523. So minis, we did 40 last week. I think we'll do 40 again. Okay, so. Minus 40, that leaves four. Wow, that's a lot, guys. I don't even know if I know how to budget for that because <laughs> it's so much. Um, hmm, we may have to add some new challenges. We might do that. Um, let's give, for now, we're just gonna make it easy. We're gonna do 200 in games and 283 in other and when we get to our savings challenge videos, we'll go from there. So that leaves, or this equals $483, which leaves us with a zero based budget. So that is it guys. I, I'm not gonna do the cash breakdown with you guys because for some reason I can't get my printer to print them. <laughs> so I'll just do it off camera whenever I figure out what's going on with the uh, with the printer. Um, but other than that, thank you guys so much for joining me tonight. It was a super fun uh, budget breakdown because we have so much more money to play with. It's going to be an exciting week, guys. So I hope you have a wonderful night. I thank you guys so much for watching. Please go ahead and like this video, subscribe to my channel, leave me a comment down below, and happy budgeting. Bye!